guys today i have a fun idea i usually do my seasonal racks or monthly racks kind of just at random times but this go around i just don't really feel like i was inspired by this rack and i wanted to switch it up instead of switching it and then tell you what i put on the rack i decided maybe i should do it more so like a shop my stash style so that way you can kind of go through my collection with me and then see what I have. A lot of people do the makeup shop my stash videos, so why not do it for nail polishes? The first thing I'm going to do is to pull everything off of this rack. And I, of course, would want to keep a few things maybe I still want to try on this rack in the next month or so. I usually keep about two tiers uh, for like mainstream polishes because let's be honest, if I just pull what I want to wear, it's probably going to be entirely indie. So I do want to have a good amount of mainstream slash drugstore polishes on here so that I can still rotate through them. That's about it. The only rule that I have so now I'm going to pull everything off of the rack and put back on a few that I do still like wearing. All right, so because this is transparent now, it's a little hard to see. So I just put a paper behind it so you can see better um, of the polishes on the rack. But basically, I left quite a few on the rack and I am not happy about that. I think that's too many. What do you guys think? I should, I think I'm gonna limit myself to 15. So right now I have 20 on this rack left. I'm gonna take off five more. All right, so now I have 15 left. Um, it's not easy. <laughs> 15 is still a lot on this rack, but I think I'm gonna keep it this way. I do feel like wearing those in the near future. I know I won't be able to, but you know, it just, they they make me happy so i'm gonna keep them here and now i will go into my drawers and start taking things out i will do mainstream first uh just because i want to make sure i reserve the space for them so this drawer is entirely dedicated to zoya's and i want to wear this one the this is neatly it's really cute I, I don't know, I just feel like uh, minty greens this year, so I want to use this. Ooh, Petma is a good one, so I want to wear this one, even though it's really muted, more like a fall color, but I want to try it. By the way, I just did my nails and I dinged it pretty bad, and I just really didn't want to redo everything, so you're gonna have to look at this for the next like 10-20 minutes. Sorry about that. Ooh, Amy is such a good one. It's more like a summery shade, but I'm feeling it. So I'm taking that one out. Ooh, Marley is also a really good one. Mm, but I recently, well recently, like late last year, I just wore it. So I probably won't put it on the rack just because I know I won't be able to. Ah, I want to wear this. So this is Vespa. It's a pixie dust, but I don't know. I feel like those kind of gloomy shades this year. Not the pastel so much, but like more grayed out, muted, um, calm colors. So that one fits in my mood. Um, that's already four Zoyas. That's plenty. I think we should stop, but ooh, this one looks good. Arbor. Okay. I would stop right here. So five Zoyas. So I switched the camera 90 degrees. I think this way it makes more sense because the drawer goes this way. This is the long way. So um, anyways, this is a drawer for my OPIs and SCs. And I also have a few juleps. I'm sorry about the lighting, but this is where I store my stuff. I don't usually film here, so it's pretty dark here. I think I want to pull out the Grease collection because that collection, I just love it. I have uh, three polishes that came to mind now. One is Frenchie Likes to Kiss, which is a light kind of lilac color. This is not it. This is it, Frenchie Likes to Kiss. It's a gorgeous kind of light lilac shade. And then I want to find the yellow. Uh, this is the white, actually. This is Don't Cry Over Spilled Milk Shake. Here it is. This is Meet a Boy Cute As Can Be. Those are really cute shades. 
I think I will stop looking for OPIs for now because you know my rack will become overflowing before we know it. Julep, I don't really feel like I want to wear anything out of there, so it's all right. We won't touch that. Essie, let me see if I can pull this thing out. Huh, so there you go. They actually all sit in this box and I pulled it out of the drawer pretty easily. And let's see. Uh, I kind of do feel like some of the brighter shades, but uh, I don't know. Oh, I want to try Mint Candy and Apple again. It's been a while since I wore that one. Yeah, this is it. See my fill line? That's a good shade. I want to try that one again. Mmm, bikini so teeny. Nah. Don't want to touch that yet. Ah, uh, this is a beautiful one. Wearing Hue. Ooh, the Bouche is a really old polish, but it's really good. So I think I want to wear that too. So this drawer is my China Glaze and Drugstore, Sally Hansen, and then there's Sinful Color back there. I think my mainstream rack is getting full already so let's not overwhelm it but i do want to wear this one this is from simple color it's called skylark it's like one of my all-time favorites but it's been a while since i wore it and i feel all the colors that i just pulled were a little light i want to like pull some color that's a little deeper and then kind of just like ground it ground the color palette if that makes sense um, maybe something like this, you know, a little deeper, but not like fall deep, obviously. Mm, is that a good one? I don't think so. I don't think I would want to wear that yet. Okay, I think I'm gonna settle with this one. This is Take the High Rodeo. It came out last year and I recently wore it and I did remember liking it a lot. This one is a slightly deeper shade and it's a little bit more muted and yeah, I think I'm gonna take this one out. Also, it's been forever since I wore this one. This is I Need a Refreshment from Wet n Wild. I wanna try that one again. I'm gonna take this one out. It's a little bit more borderline going into like the summer shades, but it's light enough. And this is Pink Punch from Maybelline. Okay, this last drawer is complicated. It's just a catch-all space, basically. I have really high-end ones like YSL right here. Um, I have some Marc Jacobs, and then I have Orly, I have Color Club. It's, it's really just like everything else that I don't have a whole lot of and then they go in here but this drawer is like full of jams really so I'm gonna have a hard time here because my rack is getting a little full now already this is a beautiful one it's from belief I'm gonna try it it's seen the color serene you know this one from candy lacquer it's in the shade bubblegum it reminds me of a shade that's already on my rack from KL Polish. I'm gonna try to wear them and compare them. If they are too similar, I might declutter one of them. So I'm gonna pull this one out. Ooh, this is a good one. It's from Finger Paints. The color is called Different Strokes. This is a really good one. It's been a while since I wore it and I think I just want some of those more muted shades. Hmm, this is also a good one. It's been a while since I wore it. It's a mini size from Butter Linden called Violet's Revenge. So let's try that too. Wow, this is a oldie but goodie. You're blushing from Orly. I forgot I had this one, so I'm gonna take that one out too. Okay, now we're going into indies. This is my first indie drawer, and they are all bottles in a round shape. And I sort of organize them by color. So you can see green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, neutral. So sort of like that, right? 
not very precise, but I think we can do that. Oh, I loved this one. This is from Claresti Carol. It's uh, from the ice cream parlor collection last year, I believe. I have to wear this one again. So that one is coming out. India is always hard because it's like, I want to wear everything. <laughs> Uh, like this, so beautiful. Oh, I should try to wear this one. It's from Native War Paints. It's, uh, what is it? Praying for You. It came from a Hella Hammock Creation box. I've never even tried it, but it could be a really good shade for the spring. Or if not, I can totally wear this on 4th of July. Ha, this one is a um, Easter collection last year from Claresti Carol, and this is Chica Boo. I think I should try to wear that one. I should be careful with my white crellies just because I want to wear them all. So, oh, this one is unique, isn't it? The kind of like a pukey pea green base color. It's from Limby. Um, it sounds like a job for pineapple socks. A pretty unique shade. I would like to wear that. Okay, this is gonna be the last one from this drawer. I won't be looking anymore because I literally want to pull everything out. But this is from Different Dimension. It's either get busy living or get busy dying. I got this one from PR a little while back and I loved it so much. And this one is just perfect for the spring. Look at that shift. I'm gonna try this one. So the next indie drawer is my square bottles. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be in trouble. Mm. This one is good. It's Color Infinity LB Parasailing. I remember last time I wore it, I really loved the shade, but had a little trouble with the formula. So I should try that again. If I don't like the formula, I would just declutter it, right? I think I will pull this one out. Focus. <laughs> there you go. This is 90 Lacquer Clover. And I bought it Black Friday last year. Yes, Black Friday. And I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. So the spring is perfect. This one is a summer shade, but for some reason I feel like wearing it. So it's gonna come out. It's Night Out Lacquer Exploding Bonbons. I got this one for PR two, three years ago, I think. It was their like summer collection. This one's really good. Okay, that's weird. Uh, nothing really picks my interest here. I don't know, I feel I have a lot of wintry deep shades and a lot of really bright summer shades. So I'm just gonna let it be because I am perfectly fine to have space left over on my rack so that, you know, as I am feeling it, I can just always add more. I would rather do that than overflowing it. So we're gonna stop with this drawer. All right, this drawer is complicated. Um, it's all in, well, not all, mostly in these. I have some square hue in the front, KL polish, but most of them is indie. And you can see there are, um, those are brands that come with boxes and also some of the, like a skinny rectangular shape bottle. You know, they're not exactly a square, but anyways, that's about the organization in here. This one's pretty. It's from Blush. Oh, the Cynic Root, of course. This is a gorgeous polish. Gonna take that one out. This is from Pep Nail Vibes. I recently kind of, um, a couple months ago, wait, well, time is all relevant now. I don't know. <laughs> I sort of recently wore it. It's violet. Yeah, I really enjoy that one and it's perfect for spring. So this one will come out.
Pep Nail Vibes Hula. I'm glad that didn't break, but <laughs> Pep Nails, uh, Pep Nail Vibes Hula is a really good one too. So I want to wear that one again too. Alright, I think that's it for this drawer. I did pick out a lot of them, like from this drawer earlier for my last round of uh, nail polish racks. So what's left in here, I'm, I'm kind of okay. So we'll stop there. All right, now I have this drawer. This is basically like overflow. I just can't fit them into the drawers. It's a catch-all again because it has mainstream, it has indie, it's all sorts of stuff here. And my tripod isn't tall enough to be set up here, so I won't be like making you dizzy. I'm gonna put the uh, put it down and then just pick the shades out of here and show you what I did. So those are the five shades I picked out of that drawer. I got Orly. What is this? Sweet Dreams. It's kind of like a warmer gray color. It has a purple shift, so that's very intriguing to me. And this one is from Scoff Law. It's called Alien Mushrooms. That's a very unique kind of spring shade, I think. And then this one I recently just reviewed for Moonshine Manny. It's Honors Banana Sunday. I loved it so much, so I'm gonna try to wear that. And then we have Come Out to Clay from Essie. It's a beautiful kind of nude shade. And then we have this more like uh, a strawberry red from Believe again. And this is in the color Kiss and Tell. So this is what my rack currently looks like. And I still have some spaces. This is all empty and this is all empty. So oops. basically I have one full roll empty and I think I'm gonna put a few more back from my last rack because remember I had a hard time pulling stuff off of it so I think I'm gonna bring a few back in here and they are basically just right here I just set them on the side all right so now my rack is pretty full I have about half of a roll open so I would like to keep that open actually I'm gonna take you through the polishes that I put on here real quick. You did see most of them already. I have three polishes from Pretty Serious. They are all untries. So I have Bum Bum, Bitsy Boo, and Pop It. I have Cirque Colors Urbanized. I have Dollish Polish, Keep the Change, Ya yeah, Filthy Animal. Polished for days, Just Keep Swimming. This one came from the April polish pickup uh, 2020, so I haven't tried it. Claresti Carol Chickaboo, beautiful yellow. Native War Paints Praying for You. Claresti Carol Limoncello Sorbet, different dimension, either get busy living or get busy dying. Limby Design, sounds like a job for pineapple socks. Scofflaw, uh, it's this name again, Limoleum, Limoleum Pattern Number 1978. I have no idea what that word means. Pinta Phalanges, Oops, Night Owl Lacquer, Exploding Bonbons, Color Infinity Unmellow Yellow, Color Infinity Rainbow Lorikeet, Color Infinity I'll Be Parasailing, Painted Polish Catching the Canal, Moonshine Manny Honors Banana Sunday. 90 Lacquer Clover, RX Polish Unicorn's Tears, RX Polish Rose Quartz, Pep Nail Vibes Ginger Breadman, Pep Nail Vibes Hula, Pep Nail Vibes Violet, Pep Nail Vibes I Dreamy 80s, Blush Lacquer's The Scenic Root, Skull Flaw Alien Mushrooms, Fair Maiden Luck Dragon, Finger Paints Different Strokes, Wet and Wild I Need a Refreshment, KL Polish Pistachio Ice Cream, KL Polish Gemini, KL Polish Libra, Candy Lacquer Bubblegum. By the way, this is the polish I had in mind. I saw I thought they were similar, but they're not. Eh, I'm gonna try them both anyways. Butter Linden Violet's Revenge, 
OPI Don't Cry Over Spilled Milkshake, OPI Meet a Boy Cute as Can Be, OPI Frenchie Likes to Kiss, Sinful Colors Skylark, China Glaze Take the High Rodeo, SE Mint Candy Apple, SE The Bouche, SE Come Out to Clay, Linden Town Jane Austen, Maybelline Pink Punch, Believe Beauty Serene, Believe Beauty Kiss and Tell, SC Wearing Hue, Square Hue Collins Avenue, Square Hue Ropongi, look at those glitters, Orly Sweet Dreams, Orly Black Cherry, Orly Beautifully Bazaar, Orly You're Blushing, Zoya Arbor, Zoya Vespa, Zoya Petma, Zoya Amy, last one, Zoya Neely. So that's it. Let me know how you guys enjoy this. Do you like this style better or do you like the old show me your spring polish rack style better? <laughs> Let me know because I would be moving forward with whatever you guys prefer, obviously. But that's it. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.